Okay, my top five for the Tour de France. Um, Froom, fucking obviously. Froom Dog. Uh, Richie Port, because he's been strong as fuck lately. Uh, Valverde, I think he's really, I think he's in fantastic shape. Quintana, obviously, I don't, uh, top five definitely. I think that's a very safe bet. And then Contador. And then outside of those five, there's three more I think could really do it as well. Well, not, well, top five. You could make top five. My outside three favorites, let's say. That's uh, Roman Bardet, Fabio, Aru, Jakob Fulce. Uh, I just want to say it's fuck late and there's two dogs outside here trying to sleep. Shame. But it's late and everybody's asleep so I'm just here trying to get this shit done. Um, stages to watch this year. Uh, stage 1. Individual time trial. Uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen there, but we'll probably see who has early form. I'm expecting... I don't really know who's going to do well. I think we'll see who has early legs, but I'm not sure what's going to happen. Stage 5 is going to be a big one because we're starting to get into the climbs and it has a very big summit finish. Very early in the race. So, I don't think... Dogs are freaking out. Uh, stage 5. I don't think anybody will win the yellow jersey there. But I think it's very possible to lose it there. Um, then stage 8. Uh, it has a... <laughs> These dogs are freaking out. Uh, stage, stage 8 has a very, very long climb. About 5Ks from the finish, I think. Maybe 10Ks. I'm not sure, but really really big so that also may test the yellow jersey category it's not big enough for um i don't think you'll win it there but you'll definitely lose it there but also think stage eight they might go easy because next we have stage nine stage nine is i think there's five or four very very big climbs there like fucking massive climbs so I think that's going to be a hard and heavy day for the yellow jersey and the king of mountain category. Uh, possibly, maybe we'll see something from Quintana there, but I'm not sure. I think later in the race, which brings me to stage 12. Stage 12 has a few very, very long climbs. And I think if Nario Quintana can do something this year, it'll be there. I may be wrong, but there's a lot of doubt over his form coming into the race. We'll see what happens. Maybe there. Uh, next, stage 17. Uh, here we're getting into the make or break stages. Uh, it's decent climbing, but uh, we'll see. Yeah, we're really into the climbs now. And it's short and punchy this year. It's unbelievable, the climbs. I think at this stage, we'll probably have a... We'll probably know who has legs. We'll probably have a decisive um, leader. I don't think, maybe you can, I think stage 17 is where Froome launched his like the send attacks last year. We'll see. The climbs are big enough to do it, so we'll see. The downhills are hectic. And then last is stage 20. Now the, the second individual time trial. I think at this point, whoever has the yellow jersey, whoever has it at stage 20 should be able to keep it. But um, if Froome doesn't have it at stage 20, I think... He could be a very, very dangerous man to take time. Yeah, I think he'll be strong on these on the in individual time trials this year. They they suit him quite well. Yeah. First off, I think Nario burned himself out at the Giro. Like he didn't perform badly, but I think he burned himself out. He's I don't think I don't think he's a yellow jersey contender. I think we'll see him in the top five almost definitely, but not a win. Port is Port is ridiculously strong, and I think he's a massive risk. Uh, 
BMC though, BMC won't be able to stick with Sky up the climbs, and I think because of this, uh, Ford will be on his own when the pace kick up, kicks up on the steep climbs. Um, also, uh, with Stanard not there, Vasil Kirienko is going to have a shit ton of work. I don't know what's going to happen there, but Vassal's going to... Yes, that dude's going to have to... Hoy. Um... We'll see. Uh, I'm not sure. Vassal's going to have to work up all the climbs. We'll see what's going to happen there. Um... Greg Van Overmaat said he's going for stages, and I'm not sure that Roach can do the, how that's going to influence Roach versus Kirienko. Um, if okay, I'm I'm very on Sky and BMC right now because those are two very dangerous teams in my opinion right now. If BMC are able to stick to Sky, or they want to stick to Sky, they're going to burn their climbers fast because. Kirienko is obviously there to pull Sky up and then BMC are going to drop the climbers faster and faster because they have to pull the team up because they don't have powerhouses. Uh, Alberto is here with a very, very formidable team, but I'm not sure about the form at all. Uh, dimension data. Um, I'm very excited about Steve Cummings. I'm really keen to see what he's going to do uh, I think everybody knows Cavendish is not fit like he's not where he needs to be to be dangerous in this sort of fans really I, I think maybe he'll go for a few stages in the first week and maybe the second week but I doubt Cavendish is going to last till the third week we'll see what happens um, Movi still have a good team but uh, as I said I doubt Quintana will win. It's going to be... Also, I'm not sure if Quintana is the outright favorite. Maybe maybe they're thinking of taking Valverde as well. So, we'll see what happens there. I'm not sure. Let's go racing. <laughs>